Well, the magic of television put me in a painting this week. This work of art, not that part, this part, commissioned by Curran Wealth Management and painted by artist Len Tantillo, giving the perspective of the warehouse district back in its heyday of the Erie Canal, right around the late 1800s. This is situated there. Of course, I got out of the 1800s myself. I'm here now, but there's a group, Albany Waterway Incorporated, who believe they can bring the vitality of this to the present day by digging up Lock 1 and bringing the canal back to the city. This here is one of the renderings here on our next screen. It was drawn by a group almost 30 years ago now, but now making it a reality is picking up steam as they're using inspiration from other municipalities to anchor their movement. This is the, this is the western end of the Erie Canal. Right. So it's the we are other on, side. Yeah. We are on the eastern end. Right. We could have something like that. Mm -hmm. We are the capital city of the Empire State. <laughs> Over the last few decades, the city of Buffalo has worked to reclaim their waterfront, once again connecting the city with the canal. It's something other municipalities across the country have done, too. This here, Oklahoma City. And they paid for this by putting a three-year, one-cent tax on the sales tax. And it paid for this. To replicate that here, Albany Waterway Incorporated members say there needs to be political will. And they say they've received support from local leaders at all levels of government. So when people tell us today, see, you know, there's a problem because the river is 20 feet below this area here. How are you going to get up over that? Yeah. My head explodes. I'm thinking 200 years ago, <laughs> right. they figured out how to do it. Technology has changed since 1825, but potentially the political barriers have become bigger than the physical ones. That's why they're starting where we started here, with Lock 1 near the central warehouses now. But it could be a park. It could just be a park, a freestanding park yeah. um, that you could visit and you could see this this amazing artifact of Albany's and, uh, uh, and Albany and America's industrial age. We're pretty confident that this is going to happen. It seems like this is, this is going somewhere. And from there, they believe the possibilities are endless. We have applied for this grant to study all this. Mm -hmm. The three pieces, the lock, the boat basin, and the way lock. Whatever is done, uh, the future of Albany is going to depend on what we do with that river. I've spoken with state lawmakers about this. They've shared a lot of optimism here, especially within the context of the Central Warehouse demolishment effort and I-787 reimagining. One told me that there are federal dollars available for projects like this. The state needs to work to get their fair share to improve cities like Albany moving forward.